Ada. 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 Here you are. How are you doing now? I mean, I'm fine. Okay. I was so scared when I saw you on the ground. I thought you'd gone to meet the ancestors. I mean, Not until I got closer and saw that you still have life in you. It was nothing in the It was such a good night. I invited you here to see and I'm so grateful. You don't need to mention it. What are friends for Ada? Come to think of it, are you the only one in this compound? Where is your father, your mother? My father went to see the king. And my mother went to the neighboring village. She still has two friends. She can speak for a very long time. You know my brother now, as usual. He went out to see his friends. That means you're the only one in this big compound. How difficult it is for you. I mean, that's why I invited you here. I invited you here for you to keep me company. With that, your captivating melodious voice of yours. I thought you love sweet melodies, but sweet melodies goes with good steps. I love dancing, and maybe you should teach me one. Can you dance the tune of love? Obin, that is the easiest thing to do. My love, finally I have you. You're so sweet. You're sweeter. Obin, I'm so scared. About what? The recent happening in this village is enough reason to be scared about. All we need to do is watch our steps. Odinobi. Obi, I don't want to lose you. I don't want to lose you either. I love you so much. I'm so happy to be hold your feet. Obi, what is this? Run! What's this? Run, my love, run! You have the ghost to go to the farm alone. Why? Everything is under control. Why so are you people worry too much? Oh, you are telling me that I worry too much? You worry now. You worry too much. Mama, 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 mama. Who said that? Obina, 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 mama. Obina, Obina was attacked by the government spirits. I'm is going. Like Where is he? Come on. Come on, sit. of our land. Ugoma, my hands are clean, no.
Do you one day crown the prince of this kingdom to go to His nails don't make you before you understand that I have feelings for you. Relationship between your father the king and that of my father the kingmaker is indeed an obstacle. I find it very difficult to dance to your tune, but it's not against my will. Besides, you're the next king of Amoshi Kingdom, and it's an opportunity I can easily grab. But I'm sorry, I just can't. Means you don't love me. Of course I do. Then prove it. Show me how much you love me. My children. Hello. I want to warn you both. To be very, very careful of things you do, the places you go, the friends you keep, because strange things are not happening in this village. Mama, strange things? Yes, strange things. The other day, I overheard my friend saying, Ugoma is a witch. That was why she was born alive. Don't say things that you don't know. Tell her, Mama, tell her. Tell her, hey, keep quiet. She's your elder sister. Don't mm. you know that she's your elder sister? Mm. It's all right. It's okay. Don't you know that she's your elder sister? So, son, tell me, who was the person that finally turned to Ogoma? Eberechi. Eberechi, Mazumwanko's daughter. Yes, father. But why do you ask? Or do you have anything to do with her? I should be asking you this question, son. <laughs> this is confusing. Very confusing, indeed. I don't know why you're asking. Anyway, I came to tell you that I saw Goma in my dream. Chalugo. Yes, brother. Ugoma actually chased Emeka to the rat the forest. Death to the maker, flogged Emeka with her teeth. 
Hmm. As I speak with you right now, a maker is between life and death. I am just coming back from his house right now. Hey. Wait, 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 wait. It was a maker who testified that Ogoma was a witch. Could that be the reason why? Oh, hey, I don't want to hear it. You are the only sister I have in this whole village. Please, I don't want to lose you. Please. By the way, what did you, what did you prepare for me? I prepared your favorite, brother. Uh, you like uh, it. Ah! <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's fun this afternoon. Hey! Mama, something needs to be done first, though, before we all die in this kingdom. Maybe you tell that to the king. Yes. Eh? Yes. If not, we all will perish in this kingdom. That's what I will do. You have to tell him more. You have to tell him. Hey! My prince, you summon me. Are you having a secret affair with my father? You mean your father the king? Cut off these questions. Who else do you think I'm talking about? Okay. No. We are just friends, my prince. Listen, if you don't tell me the truth, I will expose you. I will expose you. My prince, he, he requested for it. I gave him once, nothing more than once. I'm sorry, please come. Let me prove to you how much I truly love you. You want to? It's me, a Hey! 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 My prince, why are you here? I was calling in the palace, you left me. Why are your guards? What are you doing here? My prince, I ask you to forgive me. Have you forgiven me? I'm sorry, my prince. It's okay. Don't do this to me. Eh? Don't do this to me. Eh? What is wrong with you? Hey. What is this one now? Eh? Wait. Uh, let me go to the backyard and bring uh, herbs for you. I'll prepare them and give you. You'll be okay. Mm. Don't go. Don't worry. Greetings, Adawa. To what do I owe this visit? The prince asked me to come and see how she's very. That's quite thoughtful of the prince. Uh, as you can see, my daughter is doing very, very well. Uh, you can tell the prince that she's okay. I'll take my leave. Okay. Read the prince for me. Uh, let me go and bring the help. <laughs> please, please, don't kill me. It is not intentional, please. Don't, don't, please, don't kill me. Please, please. Don't kill me, please. No! Please, 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 please! Oh. 
just a dream. Question you just asked me now. When? It's okay, it's okay, I understand. It's okay. It's already day. Mm? <sighs> Thanks to the gods that I'm I'm finally out of this dream. <sighs> I don't know what I have done to the people of this kingdom. I'm afraid of living in my own heart. The people of this kingdom comes in at will. Who knows? They may just set this heart on fire one day. I just have to leave this place. But where will I go to? I don't have anywhere to go. My parents are dead. I'm a poor orphan. <sighs> I can't live here. Mm -mm. It's better I live in a bush, yes, than to be killed here. Even this hut and everything in it reminds me of my family. I need to be alive to be sure if my daughter is a witch or not, let me wait. At least leave till then. My elders, I summon you so that we can deliberate on the issue that has been affecting our dear kingdom, Umochi. Your Highness. It is said that not until a rotten tooth is pulled out, the mouth must learn to chew with caution. We must look for a way to silence that witch called Ukoma. Bam! Igwe, I say, bam! What? Mazi said, is the right thing. And I suggest we do it and do it fast. Your Highness. Your Highness, is there anything the matter? Your Highness, is there anything uh, the matter? Uh, nothing. Uh, yes, um, I think um, we should do as um, Mazi as you can just say. Uh, yes, I think. Uh, we... sister and family. She won't understand. It's complicated. Greetings, Your Highness. Greetings, Your Highness. You may sit down. You may leave us.
Izu, I am sorry for the death of your sister. <sighs> now I know that she's actually out for revenge. <sighs> Very correct, Your Highness. I take it as one of the challenges of life. Challenges of vengeance. We must be watchful. That secret must be kept. No one must hear about it. I take your words. Nothing can suppress the both of us. We are bound together by love. And that's why destiny brought us together. You can see how badly even angel. It doesn't matter. What matters is that I am still alive. That witch wanted to bring my life to a sudden end the way she does to us. is in her heart. She could not eat. She could not come out. She could not do anything. Why now? Because Obina was killed by Ogoma. So it's true Obina is dead. Are you not in this village? Obina is dead. And I heard they make mention of Ogoma being a witch. So Ogoma's ghost have dead and killed him. Atalugu. Yes, How many times will I tell you that this gathering is no longer safe in this village? I've told you you are my only sister. My friend, will you leave me alone before I hit you? I will see you guys next time. You will see them later. Okay, let's go. Make sure you are not in that house. Okay, bye bye. That Ogoma was a winch. Can't you see the way she is going around killing everybody in this kingdom? My friend, shut up! Shut up! You are convinced that Ogoma was a winch. What is your business there? Are you not seeing with your eyes? 
Now, our only sister is dead. Give my Ogoma. Because she refused to hold her mouth. That's the same time telling you now. She refused to hold your mouth. What is your business? About Ogoma and the king and whatever they were doing. What is your own business? That would That have not given her. They, they might have killed my own sister. <laughs> Chief, please, how long now do we have to get to Omudike? Uh, Omudike is not too far again, no. Haven't you been there before? No, I've not been there, but I've always heard of that name, Omudike. I think if you, if you look now, you can see some, some thatched roof. I think we are close to Omudike, it's not far. Why don't just keep going? That is why we came over. Because we have been told that she will assist us out of this our predicament. That is why we came. And I will know that, I want to assure you that whatever you are going to do for us, Olamma, we will compensate you. you. You will not be doing it for nothing. And let me show you the money here. <clears throat> Please, eh? Please help us, eh? You go. I will go with you. She will go with you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs>
Adaku. Adaku. You scared me. The news is everywhere in the village now. That you are living in a hut in this uh, in this forest. This forest. How do they know that I'm in the forest? Uh, somebody traced you here and came to the village and started announcing it. So I said, let me confirm it myself. Sit down, let me talk to you. Hmm. She is restless. I don't know what to do. Anyway, a friend that used to visit you after the death of your daughter. Friend. Mm -hmm. Ha. Friend. Oh. Ngozi. Yes. Hmm. While I was still in the village, she came to my house and told me that her husband warned her never to come close to her. That any day he sees her anywhere around me or my house, that he will take her to her father's house. What? And. What do you want her to do? Let me, from being a witch, turn to homebreak. No. Let her stay with her family. I'm okay. You mean that must say all those things? What well, does remind me? I told you the king was seriously in relationship with your family, even before the death of your husband. The king was my husband's best friend. Why is it that decided to turn against your family? <laughs> the king wanted to force my daughter on bed. I remember that day when my daughter ran to my heart, trembling with fear. And I asked her what was chasing her. She says that the king wanted to force her on bed Gross as she escaped. Allah. Yes. I warned her not to discuss it with anybody. I never knew that the king would kill my daughter. If I had known, I would have run away with my mm -hmm. daughter. Look at me. No husband, no child, no parents. But the gods are already avenging her death. Are you not seeing what is happening? I said it. I said it from the beginning that people are lost. I said it. You know that thing to be someone that when you lost most more medics in this thing. The ghost of this kingdom must fight for me. Isa! The ghost must fight for me. Isa! Thank you for coming along with our elders. Now tell us, what is the solution to our predicament? And we also want solution so that this spirit will stop killing us. Yes. My king, I don't want to stop what I don't know the cause. <laughs> So, what do we do now? Give me some time, since me and my mother are staying. I will give you the cause of the problem and the solution. Your request is granted. My daughter, none of your animal friends are here. How will you know the cause of their problems? Don't worry, mother. At the right time, I will know. 
Let me go and tell those mates to prepare water for you to bait. The king wanted to sleep with her, but she refused his advances. One day the king forcefully wanted to rape her, she escaped. So the king decided to conspire against her by bribing a man in the kingdom to wrongly accuse her of bewitching her family and put them under serious torment, which the man did in the presence of the elders. The king immediately passed judgment and ordered her to be burnt alive at the village square. So she cannot expose him because if she does the king will suffer the same fate. So what is the solution? She is the only one that can give you the solution. She is the one that was disgraced and burnt alive. Now she has our tale of truth because we were there when it all happened. And she is out to avenge her death. She knows what she wants. How can I get to her? Find her. to my call. I know you are badly hurt. They want to know what to do to stop this calamity. Please give them the listening ear. Come with me. Let me take you back to how it all started. Welcome, my king. Thank you, my dear. Ibe Rechi, you are an epitome of beauty. A shining light in the face of darkness. The most beautiful creature in Umuchi Kingdom. You are worthy of admiration. Your Highness, I'm the happiest living soul on earth. You're filled with surprises. Indeed, I'm elected. Then, prove to me how elected you are. Mm. <laughs> I feel like sleeping on your body. Mm. Thank you, my king. <laughs> Goma, I am sorry. Please, I want to ask for a passionate appeal from the deepest of my heart. Will you marry me? I shall take good care of you. In fact, the entire village will envy you. And it's a promise. Only if you are set to marry me, to be my second wife. Ugoma, I have been asking you for this little favor for a long time now. But you have stubbornly refused to grant it. Even when it is within your powers. Or have I not done enough for you and your mother? You have done enough for us, my king. And we are grateful. Mm -hmm. We really appreciate, we appreciate the privilege and the memories we share. But what you ask of me, I cannot do it. Igoma, you are astonishingly beautiful. Thanks for the compliments, my king. 
Oh, it doesn't change the fact that... What fact, my charming beauty? But that doesn't change the fact that you are still my king. My helper and a father to me. And I can't compromise that for anything. I'm sorry if I got you upset. Ugoma, why have you find it difficult to understand me? Oh, have I not done everything in my powers to make sure that you and your mother live a comfortable life? Even in the absence of your father, my bosom friend, even in, in his grave today, my heart yearns for him. Thank you, Your Highness. That's the more reason I can't consider what you asked for. Problem. The worst part of it is that I don't know the decision to take. I have an idea, my king. Yes, I'm all ears. When the torment became unbearable, I decided to visit the great Bia Ochara. He confirmed that the Goma is the witch tormenting me and my family. It has. Igwe, please help me. Help me. Help me. Izu. Someone two of the guards and bring Ugoma here. Needed in the palace, you beautiful witch. Why? What did I do? I'm not a witch. Leave me, leave me alone. Ugoma, you've been going around sucking the blood of the innocent. No wonder you always look gorgeous and beautiful. The blood of the innocent. Flows in your vein. The victims wallows in pains. Yet you have no remorse. Ugoma. I have taken you, your mother, as part and parcel of this royal household. After the death of your father. But I'm sorry. I cannot compromise the love that I have for you, your mother, and the real household at the detriment of the entire Lumuche kingdom. I, Igwe Anoche, declares that you will be taken to the village square and be born to ashes as tradition demands. Take her away! Oh no! Igwe! 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 Mama! Mama! <laughs> that was a perfect idea. And that's the reason I always confide in you as the most trusted guard. What would have been my fate if I have refused to adhere to your ideas? You would have been exposed by her and her mother, Adaku. Your throne 
would have been taken away from you and also you would have been stoned to death in the town square. That would have been the worst thing that would happen to us. Yes, I know. But the disadvantage is that I have lost the opportunity of eating and dining in her chambers, if you know what I mean. <laughs> mm. What a beauty. Burnt to ashes. He's a price to pay for refusing the king into an inner chamber. Now you know everything. Since they want peace, peace I shall give to them. Only if the king shall confess to the entire kingdom what he did to my family and to me. And if he fails there will be a serious war in the royal family because I shall not rest until a royal blood has been taken away. Go. Tell him that's the only solution. Your Highness, it is said that the secrets of the all must not be known in the daytime. Think of what will befall you and your family if the secret is exposed to the elders in council. So what do you suggest we do? I suggest we invite her secretly so she can tell you the solution but not in the presence of the elders. In that case, summon her now before the arrival of the elders. Go. I will do as you've said. She said that is the only solution, Your Highness. There must be other solution, my daughter. Besides, I paid you to protect my people from her attack. Yes! I am sorry, my king. I cannot fight her. What? Are you saying she is stronger than you? I will not fight her even if I have the power to. I fight for the oppressed. I fight for justice. I fight for nothing but the truth, because I'm the symbol of truth. Your services are not needed anymore in this kingdom. I shall pay you off and ask one of the guards to accompany you and your mother to where you belong. Thank you, but you have given us enough already. Which is okay to take care of our going. We don't want any more from you. I beg to take my leave, Your Highness. Leave! Now tell me, what do we do? Let her go, Your Highness. I have a perfect idea. <laughs> Man of many ideas. Speak to my ear. There are men for hearing. Oguma. Oguma. A good man was saying uh, she was born. Adaku, Adaku, mother of a witch. Mama, 
it's okay. Mama, it's okay. <laughs>
a dark room. I came in regard of others. I know how you have been feeling. If it were me, I would do the same thing. Let's tamper justice with mercy. You see me, my only brother and sister have been killed by your daughter. I know it's not easy, but... Mercy. There is nothing I can do. This matter is not in my hands. They are in the hands of the gods, and I am not one of them. Adako, you can talk to your daughter. I know she will hear you. The killing is too much. All these words are making me to remember the ugly incident of my daughter. I wish to be left alone. Adaku, please, try and talk to your daughter, please. You know, the feelings are too much, please. Izu, I am confused again. My king, I am filled with ideas and solutions. Now that the elders have agreed and concluded to seek solution from Uzuru, what do we do about our plans? Otara will come and do the needful tonight before the elders leave. By sunrise tomorrow. Now summon him immediately. I am there already. Good, Your Highness. Hmm. Greetings, great utter. There is a problem in my kingdom. The spirit of the dead has turned our dear Omochi to a pool of blood. We appeal to you for an assistance. Please come and help us fight this monster, the Great Ochar. Here with me is Ego Ayaka, Great Ochar. Please. Humbly seek for your assistance to fight this monster. Go! I shall be in your kingdom by sunset. I am very pleased to hear this. Once again, thank you so very much. I shall be on my way then. Oh. 
It would have been better, my king. But she burnt him down into dust. What? And that is... My king. <sighs> now tell me. What do we do? The river is dried. And we can only wait for the rain to fall. We were coming to her shrine, and she does not want us there. What could be the problem now? Anyway, we have to go back and pass the message to Ewe. Let's go. Lama, the little girl that was brought to fight the spirit of your daughter has been sent back. The reasons we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she visited me in my heart and told me to be strong. She even said that Ugoma has shown to her everything that has happened. That even the king knows everything that has been happening in this village and he knows solution for them is that so mm -hmm. and he has kept this away from the villagers why won't he is it today that you know that the king is an evil man but soon his evil deeds will soon in fact soonest
Olama, please now, please, eh? Please, I know we have wronged you, eh? I, Chief Wanku Demba, I cannot lie to you. We have been very wicked to you. The way we treated you and your mother is very bad. But please, please, because of the love you have for us, because of our mother and her commander assist us. You are the only person that can help us. You are the only person that can assist us out of this predicament that we are in now. Please, eh? Please, Esbon. Please, have a change of heart, please. Come and help us, eh? I don't want to. Eh? You will not assist us? Hey! Please now, please. Please, eh? Have everything. No, please, beg her now. Your Highness. <laughs> That is exactly what she told me. <laughs> that little girl is stone hearted. <laughs> Igwe. <laughs> She's a woman. And women, no matter how small they are, they have their pride. Everyone want to retire to your heart. We don't fail to relate this information to other elders. I shall take my decision. I shall do so. Yeah. You may leave us. My king. Your Highness. I'm all ears. Since she has decided not to listen to the tune of peace and understanding, then let us play the music of war so she will dance to our drum beats. Izu, the ear listens, but the heart beats for lack of understanding. Your Highness, I suggest. We capture her mother, and then she will have no option but to dance to her sweet melodies. <laughs> Take her to the pigs! She will be there until her daughter hears to my demand. Yes, Your Highness. Go! Make sure you call Izzy while coming back. Thanks to the gods that you have finally decided to come and salvage our situation. You're welcome, my dear. I didn't come here to fight this spirit. That means your mother will die in that cage. I don't care how long she will stand in the cage. I have come to tell you again that I stand for justice and nothing more. But if anything happens to her, be ready for war, because I shall join the spirits with my animal friends and descend on you and your kingdom. No soul shall be left behind. I can see that you little demon have no respect. Or maybe the past you claim you have has eaten you so deep into your fabrics that you don't have respect for reality. Hit the nail at the head. Leave my presence. Leave my presence now! Has he lost her memories while coming?
apologies. When the heart is heavy, the mouth speaks of rubbish. She is only a child, and she has indeed spoken like a child. Apologies, my king. So tell me, what is it you said you want to ask me? My lord, hmm. that poor woman has been in the cage for days now. Eh? Yet, the little girl maintains her stand. As a woman, I feel for her. Is there no other alternative? Oh, what are you doing? I'm sure there must be a way out. So tell me, what is it, the perfect solution? Tell me! <coughs> Say it now, or forever remain silent against this issue. Speak! I, I, I know, I know something. There, there must be a way out, I'm sure. It will! It will! What is it? What is it? The worst has happened. Speak before I cut off your head. The crown prince has been killed by the spirit. He's a guinea. Uh, no. No. Who is my son? What? My son? No. Expose me. That was why I killed her, please. Ugoma and her mother are not rich. They are innocent, please. Spare my life. Please, Lolo. Forgive you? You don't deserve to be a king. You are a total disgrace. I'm ashamed of you. You! You made me lost my own son! Fire! Oh, oh! Please. You almost wiped out the entire kingdom! Because of your selfish interest. Mm. Just because you can't keep this thing you call my hood. Please. Oh, keep okay. Fire, fire. According to our custom and tradition, we all know that anyone that commits this kind of atrocity has to face the consequences. Uh, not minding who the person is. Fire! Aye. Now, take him away. Oh, I stand and take him away. Fire! Fire! Please, please! Fire! Hello. Please! And why is that his so? Where is he? Please. Please, Abed. Please don't kill me. I, I, I beg you, I'm only doing my job, please. Ah! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where are you coming from? I should be asking the both of you where you're going. Uh, we heard the king is to be stoned to death, so we are on our way to the village square. The king to... Igor has already been stoned to death. I'm just coming from there. What happened? Do you know Igwe tried to rape Ugoma? 
and she escaped. How? Mm. Igwe knowing fully well the culture and tradition of the land that if the secret is being revealed, he will be stoned to death. You know that is big body guy, that big one. Now advise him to labor Ugoma a witch. It was a maker that accused Ugoma of being uh, a witch. A maker or no a maker? Igwe actually paid the maker oh. to labor Ugoma a witch. And do you also know that that is big body guy? At the same time, it's an ill lot to a maker. That is why all this plan we are able to to to, to, to unravel do, do, themselves. Do, do, do you know people are wicked? They are, do you say to them you know that? So it's wicked. because. Igwe wanted to rape Ogoma. Mm. That is why this mysterious death in the kingdom. Bam! Hey! Mm. Oh, for God, is this that time? Me, seriously. I left the only Goomba behind. The Goomba that we used to eat. I, I just I just can't hold it. I want to go and sit in that Goomba to be eating it so that I can remember for God, my good friend. We are, do you know you're foolish? We are talking of how the mysterious death in the kingdom. And how Igwe has been stoned to death. And you are talking of Gova. Uh -huh. May I Gova? Let's go to the dance uh, stone Igwe. My own is to sleep on this Gova. And be eating going from to... the Gova. You go. Me, I'm going to the Gova. Adaku. 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 What has happened? King of confess. Eh? Confess what? Uh, you confess all you told me. That. <laughs> and even he is the one that killed your husband. Hey! And was taking care of your family so that your daughter will love him. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, your daughter refused. He has been stoned to death now. Hey! What is this? This Hey! I said it so! I said it! But nobody wanted to believe me. You see? I was telling you, I was called all sorts of names. I was not bad a witch. I was not bad at everything. Look at me, a poor orphan like me. Oh, nobody, nobody wanted to listen to me. You see, you see. The of the village agreed and went to a tree and invoked our spirit to come and dwell in their midst as gods of justice to protect them. Till today, she's protecting the oppressed whenever she's called upon. That spirit protect the oppressed from people like you. And the spirit of justice will never stop disturbing until Peace is given to that little girl in her home. Oh, you are lucky. She's not at the stage of killing, otherwise you would have died. She is at the stage of warning. Warning. <laughs> she is the spirit of justice everyone is talking about. <laughs> what shall be done so that peace can return back to you? Yes, let me have back my peace. Eh?
Mama, I don't believe that. How can strange spirits be appearing to us lead to versus ill treatment? Sandra. Mama. We have to take caution on how we treat that girl. Else, the God of justice will come and hurt us. The manner that's really So we had better take caution. Yeah, I told you what I mean. Told you what I mean. My daughter, thank you for honoring us into our house. We are your husband kinsmen. This is Eda Amade. Eda Ude. I am Eda Obide. Did you know us by now, man? We were all at your wedding. We were there. We are all there. Yes. We are there. No, yes. remember. Yes. Uh, um, um, the only perfect one. Uh, our daughter. No. Where did your mother-in-law and sister-in-law tell you that they were going to? They said they were going to the village for the preparation of my late husband's burial. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> What's your girl? My daughter. That is a fat lie. Sure. The both of them lied to you. We are here in respect of our confession. Confession? She confessed that you are responsible for your husband and son not to take care of them. Okay. As he was doing before you got married to him. Everything on his mind now is just you. And out of jealousy and anger. There's something I want us to discuss. What is it? I recently observed you've not been paying attention to your family these days. Even the monthly allowances you usually send to them when they were in the village. You no longer do it since they arrived the city. Why? That's because they are close now. And you should know the current state of our nation. Things are not the way we expect them to be. I'm just trying to cut costs so I can take care of us all our responsibilities, can't you see? But baby, that's the only family we have. You know I am an orphan. Please, honey, I just want you to put it into consideration. I don't want them to start thinking I'm the one blocking you from taking care of them, okay? Plan to kill you by poisoning your food. Unfortunately for her, your husband ate the food and died. Jesus! Shimo! <laughs> uh, our daughter? No. Tire can go again. Your mother in law and sister in law were actually on their way to a shrine. Shrine. They were not going for any better arrangement. On their way, 
they were struck by a strange spirit. And your sister-in-law, Sandra, died on this post. Exactly. <laughs> your mother-in-law actually confessed before she died that they were going to that shrine to kill you. <laughs> to kill me. <laughs> And to protect themselves against that strange and unknown spirit that do torment them. Hell. Before they were struck dead and they died. Exactly. As I speak with you now, Hell. their corpses are lying there in the village. Is that not what the, the, is that not that what is the, the truth? The truth. Oh. We are here. In respect of the barrier, there's the only one left. Yeah, sure. uh, we can't allow them to remain in the mountain. Mm-hmm. We need to do mm-hmm. something. Your husband is dead. Mm-hmm. Your yeah, mm-hmm. brother in law is dead. Jesus! Who are you? What am I saying? My doctor. You thought us that my husband was dead. Can you can you explain it? Because the whole thing is that we don't understand. We need to we know. Need to know. It's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. This is how everything happened. You see, he was rushed down to the hospital. We ran a series of tests on him, and we discovered that he was suffering from food poisoning. And I'm, I was surprised because I know he does not eat out at all. He does not eat outside. So I had to call the barrister and explain everything to him. So he advised me to announce his death to the family. So we can discover who tried to poison him. And um, I had to take him to my home, employ the help of my assistant doctor, a younger doctor from the hospital, to help me take care of him. It's a very good sign for us. I just checked him and he has quite improved compared to the time we brought him in. It's a very, it's a, I'm, I'm very happy about it. How is this person? Fine, fine, fine. Everything is in place. You, you, you know, you're the only person I trust, Dr. Letam. And that's why I involved you. I hope you understand we still have to keep this a secret like we agreed. We'll do so. No problem. That, that's okay. Sir, so, I've been here as for. Well. Thank you for your help too.
Just hold on, hold on. I'll tell you everything. Just hold on. Thank God you came back. Relax. I'll tell you everything. You're, you're in no position right now to talk plenty, okay? Relax. When you get better, I'll tell you everything. Okay, Mr. Jim? Just, no, no, no. Just, just relax. Just hold it, okay? Thank God you've gained consciousness. I'll tell you everything. Just relax, okay? This is this is your friend, Dr. Peter, right? Right? Yes. Relax, you're in good hands. You're in my house. You've been here for some days now, okay? Relax, I'll tell you everything. Just get better, okay? Doctor, please get to the fridge and get him something to take. I need to take something to keep him very strong. And, and you know what to, to get, right? Please get that. Hello, Barrister Ken. I got good news for you. Yeah, you got you got it right. Mr. Jim just regained consciousness, and um, I'm just very happy. Yeah, yeah, we just thank God. Okay, no problem. You you be back in days. Okay, no problem. We are here waiting for you. Sure, sure. Thank God. Just thank God. Okay, bye. Doctor Peter. What really happened to me? Hmm. My friend, Mr. Jim. We were rushed to the hospital, half dead. By the family. Your wife, your mother, and your sister. We had to run a series of tests on you. And we discovered that it was as a result of food poisoning. Poison? Yes. It was so serious, I had to put a call to Barrister Kane, our friend. So we figured out how to handle the whole of this situation. So Barrister Kane suggested that I pronounce you dead. Are you serious? Yes, exactly. So that we can get you well and discover who's behind the food poisoning that almost killed you. Therefore, I had to bring you home and employ the services of my younger doctor, Dr. Lita, so he could help take care of you. I remember I was eating the food my wife was supposed to eat. Okay. Before I started having stomach upset, I fell down and I blacked out. Until we discover the whole mystery behind the food poisoning. But thank you very much. We revived him and he, we had to advise him not to come back home until we discover the person behind the food poisoning. Uh, doctor. Yes. Excuse me. Doctors? Are professional, medical profession. Exactly. Yes. 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 And you yes. are yes. informing us here now that a legal luminary, a lawyer, advise and instruct you to announce the death of our son. Why? Just. Yes, of course. It's 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 a legal matter because his life was at stake. Uh, uh, people, uh,
our son. I heard us. The doctor told us that he advised you, him and the lawyer, uh, one lawyer, advised you not to come home yes, that's true. until you have discovered those who, who poison your food. Have you discovered those who poison the food now that you are? Why do you come home? This is what happened. since but your number hasn't been going through have you been now like i've been restless all this while you yeah hey excuse me i'll call you so this is where you are be somebody told me have a house yes i said i should come and see for myself so you are here while we're over there morning you don't worry mama must hear this Sandra, come here come here It's my family. I want to go back to my house. I'm wondering the other day I saw my sister in, the, in my dream. Waking up, I saw the same spirit standing looking at me. And whenever I see this spirit, I feel the consciousness of going back to my family. Jim, I really don't understand. Is this a kidnap or what? I thought we had an agreement that we get down to the bottom of all these things before you go back home. Thank you for saving my life. But at this time now, I can't take it anymore. I want to go back to my house. I'm wondering what is may, what might have happened to my, my either my wife, my sister, or my mother. It's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. No problem. Whether it's okay by you or it's not okay by you, I'm going. Okay, Mr. G. I'm going to call Barrister Ken. When he comes in the morning, we all go to your place, okay? But please, can we go eat now? Can we eat now, please? 
please. Come on, Jim, please. There is this strange spirit that I keep appearing to me. And whenever the spirit appears to me, it gives me the cautiousness of coming back home. Like something bad was happening. And I need to go home. And that's why I'm here. And besides, why are you people here? Where's my mother? Is she not here? You are just coming. You are just coming. You are just coming. What is happening? Go to Let me tell you, it is that your mother, Negi, Negi. No, let no. him hear no. him. What he's, he's, he's just you know, coming. Let him he needs to have some he, rest. He's going for that on the spirit. So there's nothing to fear about spirit. Let him hear it. Won't eh? you, you allow him no. to rest? Let him hear it. Okay, if it's okay. Okay. If it is, it is. It is your mother. That your mother, Negi. Negi. Now one Negi, that's a sister. Sandra. Oh, what was that? Sandra. 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 They were the one who poisoned the food you ate. Jesus. She actually poisoned your wife's food. Unyagi. There was a turn around, and you in turn ate the food. Are you serious? As I speak to you now. The corpses of your mother and your sister, one leggy, nine leggy, they are lying there in the village, there. And in that is why we are here. In, in the in the that is why we are here to inform you. Your mother your wife. and your sister are which? I won't do job. That's why we are here to inform your wife. 